What's up everybody, Absolute Batman number 1 recently came out to rave reviews, and deservingly so, if you've watched any of my videos on the subject, you know that I've been a huge fan of the Absolute Batman series since it's dropped. Now we're getting previews out of New York City Comic Con of issue number 2, and while issue number 1 introduced us to a new origin for our Cape Crusader, along with some of his weapons and suit capabilities, we weren't privy to any of his vehicles. Well that's all gonna change come issue number 2, because what we're seeing right now is the new Batmobile, or Bat Truck, or bat tank whatever you want to call it and this thing is a huge beefy machine on four wheels now while it lacks the subtlety and sleekness of the traditional batmobile this new version fits our new batman and i mean that literally because our new batman is yoked and so he's not going to fit in some small cramped sports car with his hulking body it makes sense to put him into something this large now this new batmobile is based off a caterpillar 777 which is a large construction dump truck that's been heavily modified to do some heavy duty crime fighting now the artist nick Dragata says that this is not the vehicle's final form. So I'm not surprised that this serves other purposes other than chasing down criminals and smashing cars off the road. Because we can see with the front, there's like a huge battering ram in the shape of a bat, which is not surprising. But we look at the top and the roof of this thing looks like some sort of platform. Now, I don't know if this is going to serve as a landing pad for some other aerial type of bat vehicle. Possibly it can even take on a more complex transformation and turn into something like an aquatic vehicle, maybe even a watchtower or perhaps some sort of mobile home base. It doesn't seem like it would have flight capabilities based on its size and weight, but it totally fits with this new Batman's persona. Being a construction engineer, he would be able to get his hands on some construction equipment, and with his knowledge and training and engineering woven together with his passion for vengeance, this is definitely something that looks like what this character would have created. Now we're going to have to wait for issue number two, which drops November 13th, before we find out any more information about this vehicle, but so far everything out of this absolute Batman series I have been loving. Now with the success of issue number one, I'm hoping issue number two mirrors that same trend, because I don't want DC to drop this series and hopefully we get to see some of his other vehicles because I can't imagine this being his only mode of transport. I'm pretty sure he must have something on a smaller scale because I'm not seeing this thing weave in and out of tight city streets and seeing as how he doesn't have a second person remotely controlling these vehicles once he jumps out of them and takes to the rooftops on foot there's probably some way that he does it himself or some sort of cloaking mechanism or secret garages hidden around the city for him to hide these things because I can see him being in hot pursuit after some criminals with GCPD on his tail and helicopters in the sky, I don't see how this thing is disappearing. But I'm curious to see what he did with Alfred's bike, because we know he stole it. So what kind of modifications did he do to it? Alfred's bike was already pretty high tech, seeing as how it was created by a secret government agency. But I'm curious to see what modifications this new Batman will create to make it his own. Who knows, maybe he'll even bring back the sidecar. I mean, I highly doubt that, seeing as how he doesn't work with anyone as far as we know. And even if him and Alfred do team up, I don't think this Alfred would submit himself to sitting in the sidecar of a motorcycle that he once owned. But I'm curious curious to hear what your guys' opinions are on this new Batmobile. I know that when the Tumblr was debuted in Batman Begins, there are fans out there that didn't quite like the change from the traditional looking Batmobile to this militaristic looking version. Now I'll continue to keep you guys up to date on this absolute universe as noteworthy information comes out. In addition to news content, I also do story videos as well. So I encourage you to take a look at one of the videos that's popping up on your screen right now. And like always, continue to support your local comic and game shops. I thank and appreciate you guys so much and I will see you next time.